Okay, see Lindelof videos, AP Calculus Midpoint Approximation. So what we're asked to do is evaluate the definite integral from 2 to 0 of negative x squared plus 5 dx. I know we could integrate this and use the fundamental theorem of calculus, but we're going to be asked to do this on the exam using midpoint. So here's the idea of midpoint. I just want to show you kind of what it means. We're going to be doing the same thing we did before. We're going to take... We're going to get the width of our the width of our intervals by taking b minus a over n, which will give us 2 minus 0. Oh, in this case, we're given, what are we given here? We're given, I'm sorry, n equals 5. So n equals 5. So we're given 2 fifths. That's where it kind of starts to get a little bit dicey. So let me show you graphically what's happening here. First thing I'm going to do is say that this is an approximation and I know that my change of x, my width, my width here, is going to be two-fifths. <clears throat> so let me show you how this is going to look. So here is that graph. Here's the graph of negative x squared plus 5 from 0 to 2. And if you look, this is what I did. I divided this thing, the distance of 2, I divided it by 5. So each one of these is two-fifths. So from here to here, Right from here to here, two fifths. From here to here, two fifths. Two fifths, two fifths, two fifths, two fifths. But you can see that we're not doing a left point or a right point. Instead, what we're doing is we're taking the midpoint, we're taking the midpoint of our interval, and we're taking that as the height of our rectangle. So I think this makes good sense. If I wanted to divide this in two, this is two. This thing right here, from here to here, is two fifths, right? So half of that two fifths would be one fifth, right? And then our intervals are are two fifths. So one fifth plus two fifths is three fifths, and not by accident, it gives you the midpoint of the second one, doesn't it? Plus two fifths is five fifths, otherwise known as one. Plus is 7 fifths right plus here is 9 fifths right so you're like okay what do I get out of that well what you get out of that is this here's the idea of what, what this is supposed to do I'm not saying at all that this works exactly but what we're saying is if you look right here there's an under here's a better example here's an underestimate here and an overestimate here Here's an underestimate here and an overestimate here. And the idea is that they'll balance themselves out somewhat. This is not a perfect science, so they do not balance out perfectly. They don't cancel each other perfectly. But that's the idea here, right? So the basis will be two-fifths because the distance between one-fifth and three-fifths is two-fifths and three-fifths to five-fifths is two-fifths. But we're going to use as our height this midpoint value, that midpoint value. So... That's how we're going to do that. Then it ends up looking like this. So let me show you how that all breaks out. So we have our intervals broken out here. Actually, it would be like that, wouldn't it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So what we have is this. We have f of the first one. Let me get a better color. The first one, we said, was one-fifth. One-fifth. Plus f of three-fifths plus f of five-fifths plus f of seven-fifths plus f of nine-fifths would be our summation. If you were actually doing this on the exam, you'd have to, somebody asked me today, could you just show it this way? No, you'd actually probably have to show more work. So let me show you what that would look like here. I'm just going to translate this. So I'm going to say that my approximation is two-fifths, that's my width of every base, times, and remember our function was negative x squared plus five, right? So, and the first one is one-fifth squared plus five, right? Plus, oh, here it is, th sorry, three-fifths squared plus five, 
plus 5 fifths squared plus 5 plus 7 fifths squared plus 5. Anybody catch me? I forgot to put my negative signs out in front, but there's my negative sign. I caught it. All right. So plus, there's that negative sign right there. And the negative sign came from the equation, and we remember that the equation is this one. So the negative signs that I forgot were from there, right? Plus 9 fifths squared plus 5. And we would summate all of this. Now, here's the, the good news and the bad news. The bad news is, is that they're going to make you show this. You could come up with this on your calculator, but that's not what they want. They want you to show this. The good news is you'll be able to use your calculator to evaluate it, but you need to show them step by step, and that's why they're only going to give you between N is 3 and N is 5. So I hope this is helpful. This is midpoint approximation, midpoint approximation. And remember that midpoint approximation says that what we're going to do is we're going to find our intervals. We find our interval here, this interval here, right there. And we're going to take the midpoint of that and the midpoint and the midpoint and the midpoint and the midpoint. And that's how we're going to get a different, sometimes better approximation. So I hope this was really helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.